Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today this is a quick one, it is a midweek video and it is an unboxing of the Exmoor Trim wheel carrier bag. This video will mostly be focused on the unboxing and the first impressions because obviously I don't have any experience with this bag yet but as time passes and as I test this thing because it will definitely get tested on the discovery I will provide you with updates on how it holds up just in case you want to buy this Exmoor bag as well. So let's get it out of the package and onto the discovery and let's have a quick look around the bag. So this is pretty much what the package looks like. It has been shipped straight from uh, the UK to my house in Cyprus. It comes in this very nice little bag right here which is recycled and has the Exmoor Trim logo. We have the exact model of the bag as you can see this is the canvas wheel cover storage bag in the sand color. I will leave a link to this in the description of the video just in case uh, someone is interested in purchasing this. Exmoor Trim has some fantastic stuff for Land Rovers especially for older series vehicles and for uh, the old defenders so if you have a land rover and would like to equip it with some very tasteful additions exmoor trim is definitely worth having a look at so you get the bag this is the actual spare tire bag and you also end up with this cool little uh, spare sachet in case you want to uh, put something in here which also looks very nice and very stylish. This is the actual spare tire bag. And I have to say, this does look really, really nice. Yep, I love this. The color is amazing. I was expecting this to be a bit lighter, to be honest, but it is a darker sand color. The material feels great of the Exmoor Dream logo right here the straps to get everything on the wheel yeah this is it's a good product and I love good products things that simply look like the people who have made them really care and really love what they do so let me figure out how to get this on the spare tire and we shall have a look at how the disco looks with this in place and I'll show you exactly the storage available when you have this thing mounted so I have mounted it on the spare tire. I haven't permanently mounted it. I've put it on there just to show you how it looks on the car and we'll secure it properly as soon as I finish with this video because it's gonna get dark soon. But as you can see, in my opinion at least, it looks amazing. Uh, in here you have a relatively large storage space and in the front you have these small pouches, two of them. This is actually uh, a really tough uh, material, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna last a long time. This can be secured, can be closed up using these straps right here. And you also have these straps if you want to tie something on here and hold it on here, something like a tent, a mattress, or something along those lines. I really like this, I really like the way it looks. Of course, Exmoor Trim is a Land Rover uh, specific company, but if you like the design of this thing, I wouldn't hesitate mounting it on any other 4x4. I'm pretty sure this will also look really good on the Land Cruiser because it is uh, green. The color of the, co of the, the color of the car is green, so I'm pretty sure it will look amazing on the Land Cruiser as well. So if I ever need it for the Land Cruiser, I will get it mounted on, on the Land Cruiser as well for specific trips of course uh, this as i said isn't permanent i just mounted it quickly just to show you how it looks i'm really pleased with this i really like it 
uh, and as my ownership time progresses and as I put this thing through the test I will provide you with more updates on how it fares and how tough it is because these things live on the back of 4x4s they get hammered with dirt, mud, rain, snow in many cases and I think the harshest of all which is sun so in a few months time I will give you an update and a more in-depth review of the canvas spare tire bag. Thank you for watching this quick little midweek uh, unboxing, Land Rover unboxing and I'll see you on the next one.